Well, I am running for President of the United States to lead our great American comeback. Look, we know our country's going in the wrong direction. We see it with our eyes and we feel it in our bones. Our southern borders collapse, drugs are pouring into the country. Our cities are being hollowed out by spiking crime. The federal government's making it harder for the average family to make ends meet and to attain and maintain a middle class lifestyle. And our president, well, he lacks vigor, flounders in the face of our nation's challenges, and he takes his cues from the woke mob. DeSantis, what are you doing? That awful video that you just watched came from the DeSantis war room, which describes itself as the rapid response for Ron DeSantis. And that video came following his bungled presidential announcement, which he unfortunately decided to do through the channels of Twitter spaces, which was glitchy and kept crashing. And so as we know, DeSantis, you know, it lacks personality and that is going to be a liability moving forward. I don't know why he chose a war room that tends to also lack personality. This video made no sense. I mean, he chose to make a three and a half minute long video or this team did. That's about 50% footage of Ron DeSantis and another 50% of the footage is old pictures of Elon Musk. Yeah. So let's let's watch one more clip from it and then we'll discuss. This also means replacing the woke mind virus with reality, facts, and enduring principles. Merit must trump identity politics. We must return normalcy to our communities. America is a sovereign country. Our borders must be respected. Public deserves safe communities and law and order must be maintained in American cities. We can't have inmates running the asylum. And we must reject attacks on the men and women of law enforcement. But we also understand governing is not entertainment. It's not about building a brand or virtue signaling. It is about delivering results. I have a theory. I have a theory that he accidentally employed people who are rooting for Trump. Yeah, that's a fun theory. <laughs> They're sabotaging. Yeah, so look, uh, he does that super weak video. Uh, what did Trump do? He reposted a video of Trump interrupting the Twitter spaces interview between Elon Musk and DeSantis and saying, hey, devil, I'm gonna kick your ass. Dick Cheney, you're gonna join Hitler soon, he's dead, ha ha. Like, that was a tight, it was done by a fan, thousand times more effective, more people are talking about it. This is a super boring video. And look, I think this editor nailed it, graphic one. Sohrab Amari wrote in, I'm sorry, I'm confused. What is going on here? Is Elon the running mate? And why is Elon seeing dancing in a tux, seeing dancing in a tux at some laser show while RSD is talking about fentanyl poisoning America? That's a funny last point too. But guys, seriously, like, is Elon going to be the VP candidate? What's going on here? Why is he half the video? That's so weird. When and you're running for president, why why did you do that? How did this happen? How did this happen? I mean, the guy was running for president even before he announced. So how did he not like get his ducks in a row and make sure that he's prepared? Like to how did this happen? That's what I want to know. Yeah, and it's so that that's a great point obviously not showing a lot of competence there. And by the way, that's the power of Trump's grassroots army, sometimes literally, right? That they do the work for him while DeSantis gets these idiot consultants from the from the 1990s. They're like, "Oh, we will do a great war room for you. Okay, we will get him on Twitter." And that's the result, it's super weak sauce. But there's one other thing here. As we were talking about earlier in the show, part of the reason why I think that DeSantis did it on Twitter with Elon Musk is he's trying to get money from Silicon Valley Republicans, which is almost all of them, right? And they were, half of them are billionaires, so he could finance his whole campaign from just those guys. In fact, he could finance his whole campaign just from Elon Musk. So this is now kind of a merging of the candidates and the donors. That video was almost a perfect symbol of it. They already worked for the donors, but this is DeSantis saying, this is my main uh, you know, sponsor. Like Ron DeSantis' presidential campaign brought to you by Elon Musk. And by the way, when I'm president, I won't really be president, it'll be Elon. If he financed it, he'll own me. It's just a little bit more brazen in admitting it. I wanna just quickly talk about Elon Musk. I mean, it's pretty clear he's gonna be stumping for Ron DeSantis. He also reacted to a poll that was posted on Twitter. So I wanna show you the poll, but don't 
take it too seriously, take it with a grain of salt. I'll give you um, the average of polls based on uh, real clear politics and their analysis on this. But anyway, so interactive polls puts out uh, these results showing that in the 2024 presidential election, DeSantis would beat Biden by one percentage point. But Biden and that Biden would beat Trump with by two percentage points. And they cite Quinnipiac as the you know data or the polling behind these results. But let's take a look at the real clear politics average poll, which shows that Donald Trump would beat DeSantis quite a bit. Okay, so here you have Trump versus DeSantis. You can see that Trump is leading DeSantis by a whopping 32.6 points. So real clear politics average poll shows that DeSantis would beat Biden by 0.6 points. So let's take a look at that. There you have it. Man, like honestly, what I take away from this more than anything is how terrifying it is that Biden's gonna be the Democratic candidate. 100% because let's show you the last one. So how does Trump do against Biden? Well, unfortunately, he does even better than DeSantis. He beats him by 1.4. And remember, Democrats are banking on Trump being the candidate candidate because they think they're gonna have an easier time beating Trump. But half the polls show, in fact, the average of the polls show that Trump does better against Biden than DeSantis does. And it shows that literally every Republican beats Biden. Why are we running Biden? Oh, Because the people in power want it, because nothing will fundamentally change under Biden. Even look, guys. Even if you think, oh well, I mean, it's 50-50. You want to take a 50-50 shot that Trump is president again? Why don't we pick someone better? No, you're not allowed. Once an incumbent says he's going to run, everyone must bow their heads. I don't agree, and I'm not going to bow my head. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.